Hello everyone and welcome back to an episode of Nuclear Throne Ultra. I do unfortunately know about the last episode accidentally being a re-upload. Um, I, I, um, I had made a pretty big error. Basically, I recorded an episode as Elementor. Uh, that is why the thumbnail is Elementor. And then I'd somehow deleted it. I'm not entirely sure where it went. But so when I went to look at my most recent recording... It was, unfortunately, the previous episode of Sheep, so it got re-uploaded because I thought it was... Obviously, I should have just checked the footage, but I thought it was the episode I had recorded. I don't know where the one that I recorded went. Maybe it just never recorded. I don't know. But we're back on track. I apologize for the re-upload, guys. Um, but here we go. We'll, we'll jump in as Elemental here, and we are going for Fire Power. Ooh, what's this? Cra oh, uh, it disappeared. Wait, what's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Um, whilst in combat, health slowly resets to four. Interesting? Why is it flipping between the two? I'm going to take the inverted crown, though. Um, because we want to try and get higher chances of getting the stuff that we want. And in the previously lost episode I recorded, I figured out something pretty interesting. Um, hello, Big Bandit. Where the hell did you come from? Is there a reason that you are here? That was strange. Um, but basically, I figured something out. For, for one, mood swing, obviously, is what we want here. But basically, if you go to the cursed area where you can pick mutations, if you get an inverted one, you can pick mutation for your next level up and one for your level up after that, which, of course, is very advantageous. So we'll be trying our best to make that work. Unfortunately, this guy is a bit of a, bit of a difficult boss to fight with the flare gun. Um, which is why I should probably go and pick up this bad boy. Yeah, there you go. Because when he dashes at you, it is, it's not the easiest to uh, to make it work. But we go through here, and if we get an inverted area, things should work out nicely for us. Unfortunately, we're not guaranteed one even with the crown. But the chances are there. The chances are higher. We will hope for the best. Just, not a, just gotta make sure I don't blow myself up on the explosive ammo that's coming our way on occasion. Unfortunately, it does look like we didn't get an inverted. Oh, no, we did. We did. We did get an inverted error. It's right underneath there. Look. I'm actually going to take that. Let him finish teleporting me around. That's his prerogative. Okay. He's taken care of. That enemy's taken care of. So now we go through here. We grab this. And then instead of going through that portal over there, we go through this one over here. And we can pick our mutation once we level up, um, which isn't quite yet, unfortunately. We get another one of these areas, which we typically wouldn't get. But, as you see at the start over there, there's another one of those things that allows us to take an extra mutation. I do believe we have to fight another boss, and this boss is pretty hard. So, not a guarantee that we live, by any means, but I will try my best. Luckily, the fire is actually really good on him, so yeah. He's a reasonably easy boss to fight. So we'll take that. But yeah, you can see, look, we got another one of these. So now we get to choose our next two mutations, which is real, real nice. Good stuff. So what am I going to choose? Probably scarier face is what I'm going to choose next. I think that'll be go pair really well with the fire. So if we go back over here, where the hell scary face? There you go. We'll take that. And we get to come into an inverted area as well. So you see, the inverted crown adds a bit of extra challenge to the runs, but it's just always like a lot of extra fun as well seeing the inverted areas and stuff is cool i like it obviously we're looking for better fire weapons as and when we can get them as and when we can get them but for now the flare gun the golden flare gun has certainly i have no qualms with a golden flare gun not at all but you'll see when we level up again once again we can choose any number any one of the mutations like how cool is that so i think now we go with maybe the fists potentially for the extra damage um is there anything else that would work better with this um plutonium hunger is obviously good um extra feet is always nice that um is going to give us resistance against the portal pull as well give us the chance to drop resources can't be displaced it's all it's all very good but I think I'm going to go for the full the full damage setup. So I think the fists is what I'm going to go for here. Um, and then we can take out you fellas for the extra mutation. Uh, extra rads even. Lovely stuff. 
I'm gonna keep moving. I could do courtyard now, to be honest, to grab another crown. It's a bit risky this early on, but... Do you know what? I think we've got a pretty darn good setup right now. And I don't do the courtyard very much at all, so... I'm gonna give it a go. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> what he shot at me then was not what I was expecting in the slightest, so... My apologies for that, um, bit of blunderness there, but I'm hoping... We'll get some health off of these guys, but you can see the Herming helping us out massively here. There's some healing lovely stuff. Is that it? Wow, that was a quick stage there. The second stage is where things really start to get a bit crazy. But the AoE that we've got going on right now is really what's going to help us out here. We're able to mostly keep our distance from the vast majority of the, uh, of the crazy amounts of danger. I don't know how much health the Crown Glutton has, but again, the AoE... As long as he doesn't spawn some absolutely awful crowns, should do a decent job of killing him. I very much do not like these crows getting involved right now. There you go. Wow, this is uh, a lot. Oh my life, how am I at full HP right now? What happened there? Okay, we've got the inverted clan gluten, which I wasn't expecting. I forget how horrible that attack is. My goodness. Apparently, he always starts where he ends, so we can use that to somewhat predict where he's going to go. Oh, bollocks. That crown luckily didn't last long, but I was a bit scared there. Dude. Dude. That little baby wee little crown wouldn't die and he was going to explode into a massive nuke and I accidentally ran right... Ugh, that was so unfortunate. Okay, but we know, we know what we're doing now. We know how to play this. We take our inverted crown. There's a decent chance we get into the inverted uh, thingy area here. And we know, what, um, we know what mutations we want to take. I mean, we got lucky that we got mood swing naturally that last time. So that is not going to happen guaranteed this time, unfortunately. We can come through here. Unfortunately, we didn't get a level up there, which is not ideal. But, yeah, we, we, know, we know what we want to do here. Let's try and get as many rads as we can. But I, I'm probably going to go to that crown area again, you know. I think it's a, a good shout. Yes, we shut that up. Like I said, this guy, if he's doing his diving, is a little tricky to uh, make him work. We got a, a Kraken pistol again here, which is surprising. Yeah, if he does his dash, we want to be getting out the Kraken. If he's standing still like this, we could shoot him normally. Frost knife isn't that good for us here. Um, not much here that I want. I guess I'll take back muscle. And then... Probably go with the glass arm cannon to be honest. It's a little risky with my HP, but for that extra damage potential, I realise it's not making us do extra damage, but in theory it is. Lowering enemies HP is the is effectively increasing our damage output. Even though it isn't exactly that. I like the inverted crown as well, because you don't have to go through the inverted portal, it's a choice. Which I think helps a lot with it. Yeah, do your little teleport bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's not what I meant. <laughs> Don't start teleporting yourself. You should be dead now. Yeah, there you go. Grab that real quick. Let me go through the inverted portal. We get a level up here, which, of course, we will be taking mood swing, because that's pretty much a necessity if you're going for a AoE-based fire build. Which we very much are. Yeah, here's the big boss. I'd like it if you got yourself out of the ground, please. This this boss is like probably one of the hardest inverted versions, I'd say. He has a lot of attacks, but he dies pretty quick. It's not all that bad. We did unfortunately get ourselves down to 1 HP here, which obviously I wasn't expecting or planning for. Cracking on that bad boy. 
We get the Flugger, which I'll take. Thank you. Didn't get a level up quite. I love the fact that it takes you into another inverted area as well, because that means just weapon mods galore for a little while, which we all love. Oh, really? You moved at that last moment there? I'd like to get triple cracking on a weapon for weapon mods at some point. I think I've only done that once before, and it was it was pretty awesome. Was I still on 1 HP? There's a very good chance I was still on 1 HP there, because I was... For some reason, I was not playing like that was the case, and I, uh, I, I very much walked right into that, didn't I? I'm trying to think of what the best, like, weapon mutation selection would be. For, uh, for, for this that we're going for here. I like trying to do this. I love the fact that the game is like, it has its metas and it has like the, the selection of things that you could take to have your best chance of winning. But I think Ultra Mod just adds so much variety to that. There's so many more metas. And even then, you don't have to play the game just to reach the highest possible loop or whatever. You can just play just for the fun of it sort of thing. <laughs> and not go for crazy loops or whatever, which is what I tend to do. I tend to just try to have as much fun as possible. If I end up looping, I end up looping, but I'm not going to go crazy trying to loop sort of thing. I guess I'll take a shovel. Um, we'll go with the fists here. And I'm probably going to go with bloodlust here as well. Got to remember the ammo explodes if you don't get to it in time. That is something that I am constantly forgetting. Bloodlust is actually really, really good in this stage because of the amount of enemies he spawns. I do think I'm going to end up dying here again, though, just because of how he's teleporting me right now. We might be okay. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. My god, there's so many enemies this time around. What the hell? Good, good. Did we get an inverted area this time? I don't think we did. Okay, that is unfortunate. We've had it Two, twice in a row, but this time we didn't get it. Bit of a shame. It definitely hinders our ability to build the way we want it to build, but it's not all bad. It's not all bad. We're still having a good time here. But yeah, that, that's, a, that's a new method that I'm going to be imploring, employing a lot in most of my runs. Taking inverted crown and trying to get the double choice to be basically being able to build the way I want to build. Right, so we go for mood swing here so that we can utilize the extra fire spread. It just, it works so well. Good stuff. I saw that explosive shot coming in, but luckily I was able to dodge around it. Bloodlust is doing a lot for us here as well, which is nice. That was kind of close. Oops. Toxic Launcher. Doesn't do much for us. Am I going to go to the courtyard again here? I don't exactly have the best build for it, so I'm a little apprehensive to do so, but I could be convinced. I could be convinced. I'm going to go for that. Why not? Yeah, that damage isn't as much as we had before. Definitely not. Still good, though. Yeah, let's try it. I, I just I want to do some, some something different today. Let's go for Courtyard again and just see what we can make work. We've got this the spreadable fire. We've just not got all the damage we had before. Is that a bit of herming there as well? I'll certainly take a bit of herming if it's going my way. Thank you. That is a bit of herming. Thank you, thank you. Certainly do not mind it. Charge Lance is a very good pickup for us here. Having super long range through walls melee is going to be very, very nice. Oh, come on. There you go. Really good damage on that as well. Am I good? Yep, yeah, we're good. I really like the music in this area. It's so somber and, like, chilled out until things start to kick off. 
Oh wow, that was a that was a really, really, really poorly timed hit for me there. I'm probably not gonna be able to survive this now because of that. Which is a shame. I really need health. Yeah, that guy hit me at the worst possible time. Ah, oh, dude, this is so bad. I need healing, thank you. That's good, but not enough. I don't really know why I went in so hard on that there. I went, went to get the ammo, I didn't really need it. Bloodlust is helping out. Projectile speed, I'll take that. It's this this bit where it like flips over to the uh, inverted area and it's just like, oh by the way, there's like a billion enemies now. <laughs> it's so chaotic. It's great. I love it, but my god, it's insane. Just trying my best to fire off. I mean this projectile speed is really nice actually. This projectile speed bonus. Right, here he is. Take out some of them first. I know how to do this attack now. I'm much better at it. Still doesn't mean I'm going to not get hit, but much better at it than I was. Oh my god, there's a few other enemies in here doing some shenanigans. It's, it's not helping. Do please just chill out with that attack. We get it. You can teleport. Calm yourself. Okay. Dude, this nuke thing's gonna kill me, isn't it? I hate the fact that this one's always last. And he has so much health. There you go, we got it, we got it, we got it. Take the multi-crown. Lovely stuff. Very nearly run out of ammo there, but we are good to go. Right, multi-crown. So we've got inverted. What else would we want to take? Um, it's kind of tricky. I don't really know. I've kind of taken this without a, a good idea of what I want. Um, hmm. I genuinely don't know. I could go with Purple Drops Rads. It's not a bad thing. Especially early on. One max health, one max armor. No ammo from weapon drops. Every fourth weapon drop. I'll try that out. That could be good. That could be good. Um, and we'll go with impact wrists here. And replace... Yeah, I'll replace the herming. The herming's not too influential, I don't think. Okay. In a bad spot with ammo right now, so I'm yeah, hoping we get some ammo pretty early on. Luckily, all of the ammo drops thus far have been for the wrong weaponry, which is always what you're looking for. Okay, this guy is a nightmare. Dude, the mini rockets. The mini rockets are evil. You know they are. I wouldn't like to go into that portal quite yet, thank you. Oh, dude, I'm, oh, I just want to project, uh, replace projectile speed on this, but it's so difficult. I think I did it right. I think I did it right. Did I just leave the weapon behind? Oh, no. Please. You. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Man. I just wanted the HP and ammo drop on it. Oop, I tabbed out by accident. My bad. Having HP and ammo drop times three would be kind of wild. It's like having rabbit's paw on crack. Why do we only have 5 max HP here? What, what, what happened there? What have I got that's going on? Got glass arm cannon, that's fine. But where's the other 1 HP missing from? I don't genuinely know. Oh, it's from the it's from the thingy, isn't it, of course. Um, from the crown. That crown that I, you know, just took. Scythe. Ah, the charge lance is better, I think. The game also seems to think so. Which is why I somehow now have birth. Oops. 
That's better. Right, let's go. Stop setting yourself on fire, you fool. Lightning crossbow. I think I'll take that. Cool. Come through here, and we'll put lightning on the lightning crossbow. Why not? Okay. This is boss, isn't it? Yep, it is. Let's keep our distance for a bit here. Hello, purple dragon. It's a good old double minigun right there. Good old double minigun. Easily taken out, lovely. I do want to do a bullet run soon, just like all the bullet modifiers. Scary face, thank you. Got a good old bomb sheep down there. Right, just 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 fire off a bunch of stuff in this direction. Most things will die. That's how we're playing it right now. We've opened up the inverted area already. Realistically, when I'm doing inverted crown strats, I should be taking the um, the one that lets me have more weapon mods and makes them more potent. I think that would be a really good grab because I've got more access to weapon mods in general. But I think I'll start doing that going forward. Holy shit. Level 9, lovely. You see how powerful this weapon can be? Well, I think Sharp Stress got a bit of a rework after I mentioned it. Um, it so I, I should have looked at that there. I'm pretty sure I got a change to how it works. I think from what I read in the patch notes, basically you get a bigger bonus, and even after you heal, the, 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 the bonus, the fire rate bonus, sticks around for about three seconds, which makes it way, way better. Dude, what on earth? I mean, how how on earth I killed that boss that fast is beyond me, but that was still ridiculous. There was <laughs> no way I wasn't getting hit there. That was madness. Absolute madness. Right, do we want to go for our uh, cloud area? We probably do, right? It's probably going to take away all of my favourite things, but... Oh, dude. Let's try not to die first, because that is... We're rather close to that just then. Right, let's see what it takes from us. I'm sure it's going to take everything I love and hold dear to me. Bloodlust? Yeah, I'm pretty bummed about that. Impact Wrist is fine. Scary Affairs, I just got that. I can deal without it. Ooh, there's new music for this area now as well. Spicy. Music is cool. I like it. Energy glove there, potentially interesting. All right, much going on over here. Yes, there is indeed. So many rads you get in this area. My goodness. I don't need the rads anymore, but I'll make sure I fall on ammo. Ooh, flame splinter gun. Yes, please. Finally, another fire weapon. We got our ultra. Um, fire trail, more fire damage, fire herms. I mean, is there any question as to what we were going to take there? This is what we've been building towards this entire time. Some armor there, very nice. Right, let's head back this way. I like the fire trail as well, it's nice. Wonder how strong the, the herming fire is. Kinda hard to tell. Seems pretty good though. 
By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not using my ability much, you can build walls with this guy. I don't find it that useful. I think it's a really weird ability for this guy to have as well. It's it's, it's a bit strange. <laughs> it is what it is, though. Got a crack in there, lovely. Right, boss time. Don't know how well we're going to do with this, but having armor definitely helps. Wow. That, that destroyed him way more than I was expecting. Oh, uh, okay. But that, that destroyed me a little more than I was expecting. Wow. I just got insta-killed. Well, that was fun. We managed to get the build we wanted. We just didn't manage to keep it for long. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.